Good morning, and welcome to another moment with Jesus. Um, today is June 14th, 2016, and my wife Judy is already up. She's up with me. She got to go to physical therapy today. So uh, I've already done my singing to happy birthday to Jesus. Hope you try to join me in that. Every day, sing happy birthday to him. And in a year's time after it goes by, you will have actually sung happy birthday to Jesus on his actual birthday. But the world celebrates it on the 25th of December, but there is no actual proof that it's the day he was born. Um, spent some time at Market Basket yesterday and I didn't upload from my Market Basket and it actually didn't take too long. Market Basket's uh, Wi-Fi upload speed's pretty good. Uh, McDonald's and Burger King and Dunkin' Donuts and uh, those that and Walmart, they're pretty slow. I think I did one at Walmart, said it was going to take uh, for like a four minute video. It's going to take four hours to upload it. <laughs> I just wait. I think I wait till I get home. <laughs> um, went to the studio yesterday and got, uh, it was a problem with the uh, with playing my first uh, production uh, on Sunday, and come to find out there was there was an error on their their part, but we got it straightened out. And now uh, they actually played it, I think, last night. But uh, I was uh, playing music over at the restaurant, so I didn't see it. But uh, and I've got copies of it anyway. It doesn't really make it. I just wanted to see it come across the TV to see if there was how the quality was and whatnot. But it'll go on again every Sunday at 11:30. It's called a moment with Jesus, and I'm going to be uh, doing a little music, uh, talking about Jesus, uh, trying to encourage people to spend a lot more of their moments in this life now with Jesus. You know, when you ask people, they say, oh, I see, you know, Jesus is right here with us. They go, oh, yeah, we know. Well, now think about this. If you had a friend, okay, and let's say today you get up, you call your friend up and said, hey, let's uh, take a ride up to Boston and uh, have lunch. And the friend says, yeah, man, that sounds pretty good. Okay. So you go get in your car and you pick up your friend to get up on the highways heading towards Washington. Now, you know, and I know, and we know it's the truth, that you get in the car and you drive over and pick up your friend. When your friend gets in the car, you're going to talk to your friend. You're going to share stories from yesterday and the day before, maybe stuff you're thinking about right now. You're going to point out the different things you see on the trip up and uh, talk about those. You're going to get up there and you're going to have lunch together. You're going to talk there too. And uh, then you're going to ride back and you're going to have conversations all the way back to home. You're going to drop her off and uh, say, great day with you. Thank you. And then you're going to come home. Okay. Now, you know, and your friend knows, most likely, if you're a believer in Jesus, Jesus was with you. Okay. Now, you never talked to Jesus. <laughs> All the way up, you talked to your friend. But neither one of you took time to talk to Jesus. You know he's with you. But I guess we all figure we don't have to talk to Jesus. But if he's our friend, how do you think he feels? People won't talk to him. They just know that he's with them. They figured they don't have to talk to him. And yet, if, if I was your friend, I'd want you to talk to me. So what makes Jesus any different? 
if he's our friend, and he loves us, think about that. You should be talking to Jesus all day. <laughs> and if you have some friends around, all of you should talk to Jesus. Because conversations with your friend it's in the world in the flesh they don't really mean that much. Conversations with Jesus are eternal. They last forever. And he really appreciate, appreciates them. And that's what I try to show with these little clips I put up. Keep trying to tell people they need to do that. Will they do it? Eh, probably not. Although I, did, I have met a couple of people. The Lord's put some uh, inspiration in my life. Just, there are a couple of people that I met recently that said they do talk to Jesus. So they're doing a great thing. It wasn't through my inspiration. They're doing that on their own. And we're just the branch anyway. It's only through his inspiration that anything gets done anyway. So, well, I'm in the apartment this morning with Judy. We're going to get, I've had my breakfast on that ready. And I'll see if I can get her. I don't know if she's going to eat before or if she goes to physical therapy or after. I'll figure that out here in a minute. But, uh, and it's great to have her up with me, you know. Um, we're a little older now, <laughs> a little older, we're getting a lot older. <laughs> uh, I was in a club last night and a couple came in. I said something about a song I was going to play. And I said, uh, and we it ended up in the conversation about age. And we said, I, I said, well, I'm getting a lot a little older. And he says, he says, yeah, he says, I'm old as dirt. I said, well, no, I'm 71. He was younger than I was. And, uh, and we do. We get older. Everybody gets older. Jesus, I think he was in his early 30s when he, when he uh, died on the cross for us. So uh, he didn't have to. He was spared getting real old. And he had already done what his father wanted him to do. It. He, he, he didn't have to spend a lot more time trying to explain everything. He had said it all, all we needed to know. And um, he had accomplished the salvation purpose by dying on the cross. It was a tough one. I mean, even in, you read about the garden in Gethsemane, you know, he even asked his father, you know, this one can pass, let this cup pass, because you know, he was in the flesh, so he knew. You know, he had probably cut his hand or hit a finger and, you know, had some sore more. He knew pain. <laughs> and when he got beaten uh, by the Roman soldiers, he knew a lot of pain. Uh, so he knew that the uh, course of the events were going to take place. He already pre knew. Um, so our little aches and pains are nothing compared to that. So you can offer all your aches and pains and your inabilities up to him as sacrifices. You know, say, look, okay, I'm going to suffer this for you. And I'd, I'd ask if it be your will to help some soul that really needs help in this world. Doesn't matter, he knows who all the ones that need help. So that would be a good thing for us to do. Okay, have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow, God willing. Peace, love you, bye-bye.